two fair-sided uh, six-sided dices are rolled uh, one green one orange with outcomes x and y and here we are asked to compute the covariance uh, of the sum and the subtraction of those two uh, random variables okay let's start by computing the covariance and the covariance here um, of x and y x plus y um, is the same thing as the um, uh, using the, uh, the covariance rule um, we can multiply x with x, x with minus y, y with x, y with itself, respecting the, uh, the sign. So the covariance, then is x with x, then covariance x with y, negative, right because there's a negative sign here and then covariance y with x minus covariance of the squared uh, with itself sorry and that's the this is the covariance with itself is just the variance variance of x this is variance of y and these two random variables uh, are have the same distribution. They are IID, so they will cancel out. And these two things here will cancel out. And so this is just uh, zero. Now we are asked whether these two random variables are independent. And here, uh, because the sum and the negative, um, this is just seen as one random variable this is another uh, and they're constructed from the same random variables so there seem to be a good hunch that um, the two variables aren't independent so when we observe an outcome in this we can infer what the outcome of the other uh, should be and one way to see this uh, let's just write x plus y and then use some some extreme cases and then figure out um, if that indeed yields a um, yields dependence. So let's figure out what happens when x is one and y is one. Well, then this the sum has to be has to be one uh, has to be two. Sorry. So when x equals to one. Um, and y equals to one, their sum has to be two. Uh, this means, however, is that the probability of x minus y, um, so if we knew, if we knew that x, x plus, y equals to 2 if we knew this thing can we say what this thing is well that we can because this has to be this has to be zero with probability one right because there's no other uh, no other outcome that can yield this value and so hence uh, x and y are dependent.